everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nikki and this is Bath for She Grows. So as a quick update to my Monstera propagation, how to propagate your Monstera the correct way, MSREO asked to see an update on it as well as asked if I had put it directly into soil or how I propagated them that way. So I just wanted to jump on today and do a quick video. I'm going to be posting this today for you as well. So here we go. I put them into three different pots as well as I sold some of my cuttings as well because I had, I honestly had so many that I just didn't have room for them all. So we're going to go over a quick update on the big pot, our medium pot, and the smaller pot and see how they're doing. So to answer the first question, did I do anything special to propagate it? No, I did just put them into a aeroid mix that I use, which is it's half pro mix orchid mix and half pro mix tropical and then I mix that up that's what I use as an air rate mix here I really like it it has the activated charcoal in it and I don't have to worry about it it's pretty easy quick and easy to do and I put it directly into soil because if you watch the previous video you'll see that there were a lot of aerial roots and when the aerial roots come out of my plant, I actually just tuck them back into the soil. So like the aerial root come out, I put it into the soil. That aerial then will produce more roots underneath. So when I took the plant apart, the aerial root had like all the, the soil roots attached off of that. Or detached, whatever you want to say. And the aerial root had roots on it, so it was perfectly fine to put it in soil. It had a lot of roots. And I put it into the soil, I watered it in, I put it under a thousand watt grow lights in my grow tent. My grow tent sits between 70 to 85% humidity and I would say it was probably three feet away from the thousand watt LED lights. I sell the grow lights here as well, I use them, I love them, they're fabulous. They don't actually have like a lot of wattage consumption. Um, on my smart hub, it shows that the consumption is like 40 kilowatts or something like that, um, which is pretty, pretty low. The oops, over here, the lights I have here that are underneath here are over double what the 1000 watt does. And these are significantly less. Um, these are each 35 watts. There's four on them and they're consuming about 97 kilowatts compared to the 40 kilowatts that the 1000 watt is doing. So anyways, that's a little bit of light situation there for you. If that made any sense, I know it's probably kind of confusing. Well, that's, it is what it is. I'm sitting on the floor at my store. It is absolutely raining outside. So yeah, anyways, let's just get into this. I could talk all day. Let's start with the big pot. Okay, as you can see here, they're doing good. They're doing fabulous. Um, they both have new shoots coming out. As you can see there, they look great. That is super healthy. Look at those. Aren't they adorable? So they haven't actually been in here for very long, but the fact that they already had roots established, you can see here that like, you know, one of the aerials I was talking about um, is kind of put in there. This is white because it has diatomaceous earth. I sprinkle diatomaceous earth um, I, on all my plants as well as I use beneficial mites in the soil and I use green lace wings and like the sinatus mites. I use a whole bunch of different things um, like monthly on them. But yeah, so that's this guy. He's super happy. He's got new growth coming off of both of these. I'm keeping that. We got this green pot here. Sorry about my squeaky shoes, it's raining out. Whoops. So this one, if you can see there, it also has a new growth coming off. Same thing, he has um, pretty big roots. As far as the size of the pot goes, these pots are completely full of roots. I only, I, you don't want to go too big. I went with these size because this is the size of the root structure that this node was attached to. Right, so that's what's going on there. 
all of my nodes, they all have amazing variegation. My plants before were just absolutely stunning. I, uh, I just didn't get to up pot it in time and it was too root bound. So I cut back all the leaves as they were yellowing and I repotted them. And the little guy, he's doing amazing as well. As you see, can see here, that's got some amazing variegation on it. And he's got a new little spike. So I am very happy with all of these. I'm very happy with all of these guys. He's got a little bit of weight at the top, but... Um, I will say that there was some drama in the plant community. Sorry about the sound. I could pick it up, not just... There was some drama in the plant community on one of the Canadian plant auction sites. Um, there was a few people that I was like auctioning off the rooted nodes. And I'm not going to name names, but they are absolutely insane. Like, I ended up just leaving that group. There was one girl that was going off trying to first tell me that I was selling reverted elbows. They were nodes, first of all. And the nodes have just as much variegation as these guys do. And, uh... Yeah, I ended up taking my auctions down because this one girl was first trying to tell everyone that my plants had reverted. And then second of all, after that was disproved by other people, she went and started telling people that all my plants had thrips. And I was like, okay, this is like a whole issue. I blocked them. I had contacted the admin. The admin, you know who you are if you're watching this video. This was some drama. I was like, you guys aren't even worth the drama, to be honest. I had people messaging me. Thankfully, I have like some regular customers that were like literally commenting. They're like, this, she shipped to us. Her plants don't have thrips. Her plants are amazingly healthy. Because I only sell plants that are healthy. Yeah, that so that happened. Anyways, I had like nine or ten nodes um, that I was offloading because I have honestly so many and I ended up potting that those those two I think are these small ones actually I'm pretty sure or these nodes here that I was auctioning off so I ended up you know what I said I literally said I was like this is too much drama like this isn't even worth the drama I was trying to allow people um, the opportunity to have some elbow nodes to grow themselves at a lesser price, help them out, but y'all gone crazy. So I, uh, I kept them. I'm like, I have no problem keeping them and growing them myself because, hey, I guess you can never have too many monster albums, right? I'm gonna have a bunch at my store, apparently. I may just sell them here once they get bigger. And yeah, if you guys want more updates, I will give you some updates on the notes. But that's all I'm saying about that auction group. I am not a part of it anymore. If you want to participate in any auctions or sales or anything of my plants, you can do that on my Instagram, which is that's what she grows. I will leave a link below in the comments or in the description, sorry. And I'm actually planning a giveaway as well. It's going to be an amazing giveaway with a pretty, pretty popular plant. If you want to participate in that as well, definitely go follow my Instagram, hit like notifications. I'm going to be posting that this week sometime. I don't know when it is. Um, I already wrote out everything that's going on with it. I just got to get it up for you. I'm so excited. This is going to be my first auction. I'm making it a big one. So anyways, it's going to be Canada wide. That's all I'm really going to say. Thank you guys for supporting and liking and commenting on my channel. I really appreciate all my supporters, everyone who's been helping support um, my not only channel, Instagram, my store. I'm so overwhelmed with the support that I've been receiving. I love you guys. Seriously, so much. So thanks you all for joining me again on another episode of That's What She Grows. Bless.